still kicking clouds. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Vapor. On today's show, I will be doing the long-awaited, long-term review of the Bupu TPP pod tank system. And I don't know about you, but for myself, I gotta be honest with you. I, I find it like demeaning when these big time reviewers, the guys got more than a hundred thousand subs to their channel. When they say, oh, you know, I don't need to do a long-term review on a product. You know, it's not important. I, I, It's not a big deal for me. Well, yeah, it might not be a big deal for them. Then they get something sent to them for free a lot of the times. Or even if they do buy something for the review, they have enough people watching where it pays for the product they just purchased. Right? But for most of us, we buy these things, we don't get kickbacks or get them for free, and we use them for the long term. So we don't want something that's going to break or crack or wear out or leak all over the place or just, you know, after the first day, it's a piece of shit, right? And so I, I find it, like, insulting that they just do not do any type of long-term review. For you and I who use these products day in and day out, you know, all day long, it's good to know if something is actually worth the money, you know, the investment for the long term, or if it's just something you just totally avoid. So I'm going to give you my honest opinion, and it's been two months that I've been using this, about this product, and I'm not going to hold nothing back because I bought this myself. So without further ado, here are the pros and the cons about the Vupu TPP pod tank. Now, the biggest question that I've received so far, and I don't blame anyone for asking it, is, does this thing leak? And the uh, answer is yes, it does leak. In fact, it's leaking right now. And it does kind of vary on the batch of the coil. And that's something I go over another video called uh, the Coil Lottery. I'll put the link up here. Uh, coil Lottery basically means that when these big companies make these batches of coils, right? They make them in batches with these machines. Different batches have different quality levels to other batches. I mean, they have a certain specification that these kind of fall into, right? And you want to buy the ones that are up here. But you don't always get what you want, you know, because it falls within their spectrum of passing under quality control radar. So what I've found with this is that it's very, very much determines upon what batch you get. And I do not recommend buying these coils online because when you buy them online, you're going to get them in three packs, right? And three packs online vary anywhere between $11 and maybe like $17 for a three pack. Um, I actually do recommend, if you're going to get this system, to go to your local smoke shop, vape shop, wherever they're sold, and just buy an individual coil. Yes, it's going to cost you more individually per coil. I've noticed, depending upon where I go, they'll charge me anywhere from four or five bucks per coil up to seven or eight bucks per coil. Just depends where you go and how often you shop at that vape shop. A lot of them will give you discounts if you ask and you've been shopping there frequently. But buy them individually. You can buy one, put it in, start using it, and over the day you can notice, is it leaking a lot or is it leaking very little? And I say leaking a lot or a little because these coils for the TPP leak regardless. So you want to get the ones that leak very little. I mean, it's just an unfortunate, you know, circumstance. And it's based on the design of the coil itself, the inlets that let the juice flow into the cotton. It's, it's the thing that makes the coil awesome. And yet, it inevitably is the thing that causes the coil to also leak. So, 
batch is very important. If you buy a coil at the vape shop and it starts leaking like a sieve, you know, they're not going to refund you. They're just not, you know, that's reality, unfortunately. But you can go back and be like, hey, I'd like to buy another coil. Not from that box that you got that with. Do you have a new box or is there an old box? You know, there's, they, I'm sure they got boxes of coils sitting around. If they don't, then just go to another vape shop and get another single coil there. I have found that, you know, depending upon the batch, you can get some good coils that barely leak at all. I've also found 0.15 ohm coils leak more than the 0.2 ohm coils. And I think it has something to do with the surface area inside the coil itself. The 0.15s seem like they have a little bit larger surface area and it seems like the cotton's just a little bit thinner. So it gets oversaturated more easily than the point twos. And let me explain. Most coils do not have as big a ports, juice ports on them as the TPP. If you look at the PNP coils, I'll link a video up here for the PNP. If you look at the PNP coils compared to the TPP, the juice inlets on them are way different in size. The TPP juice inlets, if you look at them, they've got to be about three times larger. And because of that saturation and just the weight of the liquid and the pod pressing on it, you know, gravity, if you're not like in constant, constant use of it, It'll saturate and it just kind of like drips down the inside. You can like see it on the inside. I don't know if I can get a very good view on here of it. But you can see it on the inside where it's just, it's so, so moist because it's oversaturated, right? Now, that's a positive in the flavor and the clouds department. That's why whenever you use this compared to other pod tank systems, the PNP or even like the fog, let's say, the TPP is a cloud blaster. And it's a flavor monster. Like you get so much flavor, it's so awesome. And the clouds just, you know, you smoke out everybody. I mean, it's, it's great. It is great. But the downside is that leaking issue, like I said before. So, I mean, if leaking is not a big deal to you, and for some people it's not, then this thing shouldn't bother you. But if you're going to carry this around your pocket or your purse, and it starts leaking out the air inlets on it, and it like gets into your clothes, and it gets on your fingers and you get that sticky annoying kind of feeling you know it drips on your paperwork or whatever it's just it's annoying it's annoying no doubt it's annoying um another thing this drip tip it looks nice yeah it matches perfect works works great but it always always uh, you, can, you can see it put my hand behind it Maybe it always has condensation in it. So when it's not in use and it's clean, it looks great. But if you're sitting around just puffing on it, it's just like, it looks dirty. The condensation kind of makes it look dirty. So, I mean, it is removable. So you can put another drip tip on it, which if you don't want to have that kind of like dirty look to it, I would recommend. But if you don't mind that, then, you know, it works just fine. Something I touched on in the video where I first brought this out was the maintenance costs on it. And I thought the maintenance costs wouldn't be that much more than a PNP, which if it didn't leak as much and you could just buy the three packs off the internet and trust that you wouldn't have leaking issues, then yeah, I mean, why would you not use it? But the fact that it does leak, and like I said, I recommend just buying a single coil at a time. The maintenance costs on this are double 
double the PNP. And um, it, it's hard to swallow, you know, that price gap. I mean, these coils do last a long time. I've switched through quite a few of them just because I wanted to try and get around the leaking issues and never quite found, you know, a, the perfect solution to it. And I think the longest I've used the coil after I gave up on trying to get through it is, is this one. This one's at about eh, three and a half, four weeks, right around there. And I've been using really uh, tasty kind of sugary uh, vape juice, which is tends to make coils not last very long. But this this thing's holding up like a trooper. Like it's it's great. Still tastes good. Still blast monster clouds. No complaints there. Still tastes like. Maybe not brand new, but nearly new. It's good. So, I mean, the life of the coil is good. But then something else that I've noticed over time, like especially when you're out in public, maybe not so much at home because when you're at home, you know, at home, who gives a shit? Is the shape, the shape of the air inlet, for whatever reason, it causes whistling. You can adjust it. But still really noisy. Really noisy. And when you're out eating with your wife somewhere and you do, your husband, whoever your significant other is. When you're out somewhere trying to just enjoy dinner and you want to just puff on this, you know, because... I like the outdoor dime, I, you know, it's just me, I guess. But anyway, that whistling kind of like people look at you, right? Like you're annoying. And for most people, they're not vapors. I guess the, the statistic is actually like less than 2% people actually vape in the U.S. So you got you to gotta understand that 98% of the people around you, for one, don't know what the fuck you're doing or what that is. And they might have saw negative advertising about it because that's constantly going on. They're constantly disparaging people for vaping. Even even to go as far as blame it for COVID in, in some countries. But then you got the whistling on top of it and they're just looking at you like, what the hell is this jackass doing? Is he purposely trying to draw attention to himself? I mean, and most of us don't need that shit. You know, most of us just want to enjoy our meal in quiet, privacy and not have dickheads staring at us because we're whistling at them with our vape. You know what I mean? You can kind of adjust it so that it does whistle less, but it never truly goes away. It just doesn't. So do I still recommend buying this? I don't know. I'm very, if you're enjoying this and you have no problems with the leakage and you have no problem paying the maintenance costs for it and the whistling doesn't bother you, yeah, all day, all day. Myself, if, if I want to use this, I only really use it at home. I don't bring it anywhere with me anymore. Maybe to work sometimes. But mostly it's just an at-home thing for me. I have other pods that I'll have show in other videos that I use more daily because they're not as leaky or, or as annoying. But that's it for now on the update for the Vupu TPP pod tank. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informational. I hope you have some comments. You know, you want to leave below because I love hearing back from you guys. I love hearing your points of views, especially if I might have missed anything. Feel free, feel free. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell below, and y'all know what to do. Later, vapors.